Here's how you can charge over 2K a month as a content agency instead of small $100 one-off projects with clients that never come back. Here's a quick screenshot for credibility. This is me doing 120K Canadian, which is about 93.5K USD in a month. After you factor in about 4.5, I took on other processors. So this is Stripe for proof. You can see me moving, all that good stuff. So I'm about to show you how I do this. And I promise you, it's not by me charging like 100 bucks. So here's why you're only able to close little void deals. Instead of offering prospects an end result, you're offering video edits. What do you think that person wants to achieve with the video you make them? Probably sales, maybe views. So instead of saying, I'm going to edit this video for a hundred bucks, like a commodity, you should take on more logistical intensity from the prospect and add more elements to your offer so that you can increase the chances of them getting quantifiable results. So what do you think somebody would rather buy for $10,000? A beat up random Honda or a blacked out R8? Obviously the R8. Why? It's a much better deal. The Honda is your video editing offer while the R8 is a nicely packaged up offer with an end result promised with a ton of case studies. So let me go to the next slide here. Your sales skills are terrible. Instead of trying to close deals in the DMs, giving up your pricing when the client asks, and overall just coming off as a pushover, you need to get on the call with the prospect and pitch using a three pillar framework. More on that in a second. When you're speaking with a prospect in the DMs or over email, your goal is to get them on the phone. Literally that. Otherwise, they're just going to ghost you. If Mr. Prospect asks you a question in the DMs, never feel forced to answer. So for example, if they ask you, hey, how much do you charge? You don't have to tell them, right? You can give them a range, but you don't have to say the exact number. Once you're on the call, here's how it's going to go. You're going to start with five to 10 minutes of discovery. Then you're going to transition to the pitch if they're a good fit, which should last about two minutes at maximum. This pitch should be divided into three pillars. So you're going to want to split your deliverables, offer service into three segments. So you're going to do like ideas and scripts, post-production, quantifiable results that they're going to get. Then you're going to answer any questions. Then you're going to reveal the pricing. I just want to scroll up real quick to over here when I said, don't answer any questions. So if somebody asks you the price, you give them a range like you say oh i charge anywhere from 1 to 4k it depends on what you need so that's why we do a call and then if they really push to know the exact price and they tell you oh i want four videos whatever whatever like how much is it you know you can tell them if they really really push um, but just try not to i just want to clarify that so next up your unoptimized social media profile is making you look like a fiverr editor you need to position yourself as a content expert there are five elements on your profile that need to be absolutely dialed in across all your socials so number one is your profile picture you want to make sure it's professional. A headshot is good, or you can pick a more lifestyle type picture, but make sure your head and face is clear though. If you're young, 14 to 19, something like that, try to look as old as possible. If you can't, it's not the biggest deal because when I started, I had a profile pic that made me look like I was 15, but I was still closing deals. So it's all good. Next up for your bio, you need to include your offer and something like DM me word for a free guide on XYZ. You're also going to need to make a lead magnet, which is what you're going to send them when they DM you this word. Next up for your highlights, this is more for Instagram specifically. Your highlights need to show showcase client results. So literally make a highlight, call it client results, and then just post client results in there. So that whenever you DM somebody or somebody lands on your profile and then they hit the client results highlight, they're going to know that you're legit and you're not a scammer. Remember, you are a scammer until proven otherwise. So next up for posts and reels, if you're selling a service related to video production and you have no videos up, you're just not going to make it. So make sure you post videos. You can't go up to people and say, oh, I'm going to book you 30 calls from your YouTube, but you don't have a single YouTube video live. Next up, verification status. So this is for Instagram and Twitter. It's $20 a month. So just make sure you do it. You're going to look a lot more legit. It's a psychological thing, right? We've been programmed for years to associate that little stupid check mark with status. So just make sure you do it. It's also going to make you not look broke. And then on Twitter, it's going to allow you to DM anybody. And finally, you need proof that your service works and that people have given you money and not gotten scammed. So you need to remember, like I just said this 10 seconds ago, you are a scammer until proven otherwise. You need to show a lot of proof that you're legit. And here's exactly how you do that. First and foremost, you're going to show your face online and use your real name. This is a non-negotiable. Don't try and go anonymous. It's not going to work nowadays. It might've worked in 2020 and 2021, but now you need to show your face. Next up, show case studies and results that you've gotten for clients on your page. And then next up, you're going to use reels and posts to showcase what kinds of videos you make and the results you've generated. And finally, you're going to make long form YouTube videos that go more in depth on your offering, exactly what I'm doing right now. And exactly like I do on my YouTube channel. So you're just going to show your expertise, show your results, all that good stuff. So that's pretty much everything guys if you're a content agency stuck between 2 to 12k a month even if you're at around 20 30 40k a month and you struggle with client acquisition charging high tickets so like 2k or even really like 3k 4k a month plus charging retainers instead of one-offs systemizing your agency so you can actually go and breathe and take a walk for once i will personally coach you one-on-one -on -one inside my private group and tell you exactly what you need to do over the next four months on an onboarding call and give you access to my copy paste system so you can manage 25 plus active clients just like i do 
So if you're interested, you can hit the first link in the description to book a call, or I actually suggest you watch this other video on screen because I walk through how I scaled from 2K a month to 93.5K a month in 14 months. And by the way, I still run my agency. So go watch that video or book a call. I don't care. I'll see you later. Peace out.